In Korea, we usually start wearing school uniforms from middle school. But my school was newly built, so we didn't have a uniform for the first few months. We were allowed to wear whatever we want to school, and it was fun in a way thinking about what to wear. And at the same time, it was a bit stressful because I didn't want to wear the same thing every day. I actually started going to this school in April, right after I came back from England, and the semester starts in March in Korea. So it took me some time to settle in and to get to know everyone in class. And I noticed a classmate that everyone talked about, or avoided, and I noticed that he was wearing the same clothes every day for weeks. Even when his clothes got dirty, he would still wear the same thing. My other classmates would tease him sometimes and say that he smells because it seemed like he didn't shower so often. I'm ashamed to say this, but back then, I didn't really do anything to stop it because I was more focused on getting close to the other classmates. I just thought that his family was struggling financially and didn't give much thought about it. But then, I noticed something shocking. He would sometimes not come to school for a few days and come back with bruises. Not just on his body, but on his face also. So the teachers knew, and I think they were trying to help, but there was not much they can do, and back then, I think the systems to help him had a lot of loopholes. It was the first time I encountered someone who was going through domestic violence, and I felt bad for him, but to be honest, I wasn't really trying so hard to help him, or to be nice to him in any way. Thinking of it now, I'm so ashamed, but I would try to avoid sitting next to him or would try to avoid talking with him. One day, I told my dad about him while we were having dinner. And I told him that his dad uses violence on him sometimes and he lives with his grandma and how he rarely showers and wears the same outfits. And I told him honestly that I was avoiding him. And my dad taught me something important that day. He said, this kid did not choose to be in this environment and he was just unlucky. When he was young, he also had some tough moments due to financial reasons, so he knows how hard it can be to not have money or support for the basic things we need in life. He told me, if I want to be a good person, actually a proper person, I should not discriminate people and I should actually be nicer to him. He told me, there's nothing that I can do right now to help his situation at home, but just saying nice words can heal his heart which is probably bruised more than his body from what's been happening to him at home and school. He told me small gestures can make a big difference. I was ashamed of myself after this talk with my dad. I also didn't realize how lucky I was and how I took everything I had for granted. I've always been confident that I was a good person, but I wasn't. It wasn't like I was bullying him or talking badly of him, but I was as bad as the people who were doing so. I didn't do anything to stop it. I'm not a good person if I'm being nice to only certain people or excluding certain people for something that they cannot control. I decided to change my attitude towards him. I was not going to suddenly change and be best friends with him, but I wanted to make small gestures, like share snacks with him, or lend him a pencil when no one else would, or ask him what he did over the weekend, or help him with his studies. I know it wasn't much, but I could see that he was happy from these small gestures. To be honest, we didn't end up being good friends because we had completely different personalities and interests. And I was more focused on my studies, but we were classmates, just like everyone else. I wasn't avoiding him like before, and I just wanted him to feel like he was the same as everyone else. Unfortunately, he dropped out of school a while later, and from what I've heard, he made some friends who had bad influences on him. After a long time, I actually searched his name on Facebook and I saw he was doing okay. But I do regret a little for not being nicer to him, or for not helping him as much as I wanted. I know I was young back then, but I could have helped him even if it was something small. I am glad though that I had a chance to be a good classmate to him and I'm also glad that I learned to not discriminate people based on their backgrounds and appearances since then. Of course I still make mistakes but this mindset got deeply rooted inside of me so I always try to reflect on whether I have been discriminative to others and it really helps to keep me on the right track and to be a better person. I'm not saying we should become friends with everyone and unconditionally be nice to everyone but when we meet someone who's going through a tough time because of something that they cannot control, it's not hard to say something nice and warm. It might just be a small gesture for you, 
but it can actually make the day for someone who's going through a lot and can really give that small support they need to keep going. Thanks for listening to my bed talk. Good night.